What's going on YouTube? My name is Athena and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be looking at attachments and quote unquote how to find the best attachments and all this stuff. I did make a video about this earlier but I'm actually going to go through every single character in uh, the attacking side for uh, uh, for your attachments. We're going to go with every single character, talk about positioning, uh, aggression, play style, all that kind of stuff. Uh, what the How your attachments can sharpen your skills to become a better player and win those gunfights a lot more. So, um, rule number one before we start out this video, keep in your head that attachments are, um, are good pointers and adjusters to your aim and your gun skill, but they aren't the, going to be the difference between you and hitting a shot. That you and hitting a shot in the enemy is completely 100% your aim, but the, uh, the attachments will make it easier for you to do that. And it'll uh, help out with recoil as well. So, let's start out with Sledge. So Sledge, my loadout, and for a lot of other people loadout, is... Uh, ACOG, Flash Hider, and Vertical Grip. This is the standard for about every other, uh, for a lot of attacking weapons, just because ACOG, I feel like on, you know, you hear like, oh, Hollow versus ACOG was the best one. Um, honestly, dude, you guys, you, you guys already know it's personal preference, but you mean, what do you mean by personal preference? Personal preference is the most vague, yet so simple, uh, reason. Uh, what I mean by that is you have to test out yourself. You don't know your personal preference. You can't really just assume it. You can't just be like, uh, this few, this, I think this is comfortable. No, you actually have to go into a tea hunt. You actually have to go into a custom game, a terrorist hunt, a warm up. Try out all these different attachments. Mix up the combos. Take, have the humility to take 10 minutes out of your day to maybe f switch up with them. Don't you try the suppressor, but the suppressor is uh, not as good as the other uh, the other attachments because suppressor releases uh, the damage and people can see your barrel so that's another reason suppressor is not very good um but it, you know personal preference you know you, you don't you know you could be the next john wick you know um but that's for sledge uh acog hollow honestly this gun is super simple to use you don't have to use anything laser sight i don't re recommend laser sights unless you are a big crosshair user um if you guys want to learn about crosshairs i do have a, a crosshair video um, or you can look at Braxton. Braxton uses a lot of laser sights. You can probably learn from him a lot more than me. Um, I usually uh, don't run the shotgun on Sledge just because you know it's uh, it's you know you want to have the LA85 provides uh, far range and your close range is the SMG11, um, flash hider or uh, combat center. The, the argument: uh, don't use extendo barrel. Like please don't. <laughs> There's no reason to because most of the time uh, you're going to be hitting the headshot with this weapon. Uh, as long as your other kills as well. Compensator versus Flash Hider, honestly, there's not really a big of a difference. It's all about what kind of player you are. Um, if you like to tap fire a lot with the SMG-11, then you can use the, uh, the the Flash Hider. But, you know, let's say there's oh, there's oh, there's going to be those times where you need to tap fire long range, but if you're medium range, you know how to control recoil well, use the Compensator. Honestly, they're both the same. Compensator just, is, just favors the people that hold those, uh, that peak those uh, long, those uh, angles for a very long time like they don't they don't quick peek they just kind of wait until the mag goes out and then they stop peeking you know um that's basically it for sledge uh thatcher same thing for thatcher la85 basic gun um i recommend using the la85 just because it's more of a dynamic more uh, like, uh it's just a overall better weapon than the ar-15 in my opinion but some people like the higher fire rate they like to use uh, thatcher close range you know it's all about your play style if you like to play uh, more passive with Thatcher, you know, you like to get the wall open and maybe uh, become an, an entry fragger after that, you know. Um, Thatcher uh, is a very good operator just because he can basically play almost every role except the hard breacher. He could become an entry if he wanted to. He has a good weapon, he has a good gadget. Um, his, the, like the LA85 is good close range and long range, has a good fire rate and good damage. Um, yeah, same thing for uh, like this legend, all that. So for Ash, um, honestly, these are both good weapons. Both really, really good weapons. Uh, for Ash, um, a really popular one you might hear a lot is, you know, Hollow, Vertical, Flash. Why don't you run Muzzle? Why don't you run Compensator? Why don't you Extended Barrel? Extended Barrel, honestly, in my opinion, is only good for situational times. Don't get me wrong, it's a good barrel, but it it's very situational where you want to use it. Uh, if you're using... Maybe if you're going on chalet, you know, and you want to peek from the main stairs all the way to master bedroom, maybe extended mode might be the play, you know, because you want to get that damage from long range. Otherwise, 
um you're like should i use red dot or reflex honestly there's a bo they're both fine but hollow is the easiest to use and it's very easy to practice with um honestly like ash is same play style pretty aggressive uh don't play too passive with her because um you might as well just play a different operator she's very good for getting those first picks as well um for thermite thermite has extremely good loadout and weapons he has a good pistol claymore or a stun grenade super super good for a support player um uh you can, you can the claymore can catch a lot of people off guard for flank watch and stun grenades for burning ads for thatchers and grenades extremely extremely good i recommend running uh, uh communicating with your team um which one you guys need most but um if you're solo queuing i recommend using stun grenades um otherwise uh on, on thermite like i said thermite and the sledges l8 like that we saw earlier are very uh good assault rifles and uh, vertical grip a cog and flash hunter are super super good um if you want angle grip it's probably just as good as vertical grip in my opinion vertical grip just helps out with people that you know it's just personal preference if you like to scope in quicker or if you really like to have that you're used to that like that low delay before aiming down sights you know it's all about your play style and how you can adapt fast to it like again go into t-hunt and try things out so for twitch twitch has a lot of recoil um i don't know why you're using the uh, the dmr sometimes like it's a good weapon but the f2 is uh, most favored obviously vertical grip always vertical grip um the difference between flash and muzzle in my opinion i would run muzzle on twitch just because that first shot always is what i'm looking for i'm not really looking for a spraying you know the enemy flat don't get me wrong flash and muzzle are good but i reckon i personally recommend muzzle you might want to try both of them and see uh how, how you can hit headshots a lot better um which without one of them but don't don't not run a barrel on twitch or else the recoil is going to go off the off the roof <laughs> um for a montagne so the difference between uh his p9 or his lfp that most of your time you're not really shooting the enemy you're kind of like taking off your shield putting it back on scaring the enemies while having your teammates behind you but if you're playing monty you're obviously be you're obviously playing um with a, with communication with your team if you're playing monty solo good luck um the p9 is better for spraying hip fire and um also uh trying to if you're not very accurate with the the lfp then use the p9 that way you will be able to uh hit a lot more shots but be careful um not pe not dying too early not peaking too early because that can really cost you the round um for glass i don't have glass unlocked we're just gonna skip him fuse Ugh, we're, we're gonna skip fuse just run run normal flash you, you'll 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 get used to it once i explain all these other ones blitz we're gonna skip as well iq so iq lmg versus commando what's the better one what's the what's the meta what's the hollow versus acog what should i use angle grip versus vertical grip it does not freaking matter honestly they're both good weapons even if you use the aug if you want but the aug has really really long ads time um but you know some people like that that's why vertical grip will really favor someone like like that um but uh, anyways the, i think the commando is a pretty standard weapon it's like th it's like the thermite gun and the la85 very uh easy to use weapons the g8 um some people might not have the recoil on it um but you will get used to it it's a very different gun like the way you hold it the way you shoot it it's really really different i i recommend using uh, angle grip on it once you learn how to control recoil pretty well because there's not a lot of side to side recoil uh, it's mostly just going up so once you can control that you're, you can become a really big beast with this weapon um so yeah, that's what i recommend um i recommend running breach charges on iq i don't recommend running claymore unless you're depends where you're attacking from because iq can really uh act as a buck um like if you guys need if you need a buck but if you don't have a buck you have iq everybody should have iq in my opinion um and you can uh breach above those floors those windows all that kind of stuff and it really helps out with her gadget um attachments for a buck i personally um i always run the, the ca over the dmr just because uh dmr is not very good in a lot of maps a lot of you need, if you're playing the dmr you're most likely holding very long angles unless you're being monkey with the hollow which you can try it out but you know it's it's good either way but most favored is the c8 the c8 um hollow or acog 
like I said, personal preference. I'm not gonna always say personal preference, but look at your resolution. Look at your play style. Are you passive or aggressive? Do you like to hold angles or do you like to, you know, you like to peek after you make your shotgun holes? I recommend using a hollow if you are, um, if you are being really uh, aggressive with your fights, you're taking close corner fights. But if you're more of a guy that likes long angles and you like that range to see really good, then use the ACOG for sure. Um, I run muzzle break personally. I, I think muzzle break, I like for all my guns having that first shot accuracy. I love that. Um, controlling recoil is easy. Um, I, I really don't need flash header in my opinion uh, because just so I'm so used to using the recoil. So moving on, we have Blackbeard. We're gonna skip Blackbeard. Uh, Capitao. Capitao, your loadout for Capitao should, should normally be stuns. So you can burn out one lies, you can burn out ADSs, but you know his bolts aren't affected by that. Claymores, you know, honestly for all operators, Claymores are extremely situational. If you have a Nomad, you don't really need to run Claymore. It depends where you're playing, where you're planning on going. If you're planning on going in the building a lot, you don't really need a Claymore. Um, that's why you have drone for flank watch. Uh, honestly, Capitao has two great weapons. There's not really a difference in between, except this has a longer ADS time, and obviously it's an LMG. The uh, the ACOG for this is oh, I've never seen that. Actually, never seen this. What the heck? What? Wow, they actually changed it. Okay, I never seen this before. Um, anyways, I run vertical grip because you can If if you could run an angle grip on this thing, this would be deadly. Um, I, I would uh, switch to flash hide or compensator. Honestly, compensator is just like, in my opinion, uh, I feel like it favors longer gunfights, but most of your time you should be hitting your shots on the f your first few gunfights. Um, otherwise, I would I would run his um, his AR. His AR is a super good weapon. Um, vertical grip versus angle grip, like I said, personal preference. If you like to have a lot, uh, shorter ADS time, that's good as well. Uh, but, but if you're hoarding if you're hoarding long angles after the the hard bridge has been opened, I recommend using vertical grip. So Hibana, Hibana is the definition of personal preference. Uh, ACOG versus hollow. Which, which do you use? I see Shiko use angle grip with hollow. Uh, with I don't know flash from I don't honestly don't care what he uses. Care about what you like yourself. You can't uh, whatever makes pros comfortable. You're not gonna comfort you're not gonna get comfortable immediately as much as them, because that's what they have been practicing. You never know. Maybe Shiko has been running Red Dot with a suppressor, and he could popularize that if you wanted to. But in that's, that's that's basically what personal preference is. You know, it's not gonna work out for everybody, but it works. Whatever works out for you best, you stick with that. You don't care about other, what other people say about you. So. Uh, in my opinion, I think you should always run ACOG on her weapon. Um, in my opinion, because you have the bearing nine, which is good for mid range and close range. Uh, I recommend using muzzle or flash because when you're taking those long range weapons fights, then I I think I think really running the muzzle break helps with the first shot and controlling recoil should be easy and. Since she has such a small ammo magazine, I feel like Flash Hider is just eh, you know? But that's my opinion. I, I run the Bearing 9. Uh, I have vertical or freaking. I have laser on it just because, honestly, having laser on certain weapons like that, the only reason I'm pulling out my Bearing 9 in a close range fight is so I can ADS faster and so I can kind of um, try to. I, I just think laser really helps out uh, putting my crosser on the enemy. Uh, so for me, uh, moving on to Jackal. Jackal has two great weapons. Don't run the, the shotgun, please. You don't need a double pump. This isn't Fortnite. Uh, if you run this weapon, it's one of the best ARs in the game. High fire rate, high damage. The PDW is eh. It's eh. But this, the, the, the C7, run angle grip or vertical grip. Honestly, it does not matter. There's just no recoil on this weapon. It's really, really easy to use. Uh, you just gotta practice with it. I run flash hider be on it because uh, when you shoot, I, just like for Jackal's weapon, it has a very uh, large um, fire uh, barrel, barrel fire, or whatever, barrel light, whatever. I don't even know what to call it. When you shoot a weapon, it has a very, very bright light. So I recommend flash hider um, just because, you know, muzzle, this, this is like, the gun's really easy to use. And I think flash hider really helps uh, narrow down my enemies when I'm tracking down people and 
let's say they're right next to me, then I don't have to worry about not being able to see them. So for Ying, Ying currently has gotten a buff. Uh, if you want to know the best loadout for her, honestly, if if you're planning on using her smokes and her uh, her uh, what do you call it, her candelas, like let's say if you're pushing on border, right? I recommend using a hollow and an angle grip. Why? Because there's so many angles you have to check, um, pretty quick. And uh, hollow is really good for close range and angle grip. Honestly, it's it you'll be able to you'll be just fine. But ACOG, I don't recommend running uh, a vertical grip on this weapon unless you're holding some angle outside, like for, like very like mid to long range. Just like. It, it takes a while, and most of the time, as Ying, you're going to be in entry, you're going to be doing all that kind of stuff, you know? Um, so for Zofia, Zofia, uh, I use, I don't use her LMG, just because it feels a lot more clunky, and her uh, M7 is just great. One of the most favorite, what my most favorite weapons in the game. So I recommend uh, using Vertical Grip. Honestly, this is one of those weapons where Vertical and Angle Grip do not matter that much. You will know the difference, but it does not make a difference at all. Honestly, um, the the only thing that makes a difference mostly is a vertical versus flash hider. Um, the flash hider does reduce a little bit of that of that uh, side to side swaying after the first few uh, shots, but muzzle break um, has that, but it has a very good accurate shot. So if you run aim grip on Zofia, you should be playing somewhat aggressive. Uh, vertical grip is you know you can be aggressive with both, but I recommend using uh, a vertical grip with a uh, muzzle brake on Zofia. So, uh, or a flash hider, my bad. A flash hider, a cog, vertical grip. Very standard, very good close range, very high fire rate. Just good weapon overall. Dokubi. Dokubi, uh, I don't run her boss G because I suck with the boss G and it's not a very good consistent weapon. Run the MK. Uh, I recommend running. Uh, vertical grip if you like to take those long range fights but if you like to sneak up on corners and use this weapon i recommend using a hollow graphic sight with an angle grip otherwise you know i i think angle grip on this weapon is also pretty good just because uh it's just there's just no recoil to this weapon it's all about just like how fast you can shoot that weapon in my opinion and your cross replacement has to be spot on uh the difference between the smg12 and the c7 Again, personal preference, SMG has a lot more recoil, but you kind of have to shoot in the general direction, you'll hit him. The C-77, you have to be very accurate, but has big iron sights. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of recoil to it either. Um, so as for Dokubi, Lion, I recommend this running the simple... I, I run, personally, I run a vertical grip on this weapon just because I like to have that that steady feeling of a good weapon, you know? Uh, I run Flash Hider just because it's one of those weapons that does have a pretty big flash on it um I, honestly any the, what lion's weapon is just pretty good in my opinion it's good with any of these weapons just because how uh steady the aim is on this weapon it's it's pretty steady uh it, you don't have to control that much so for finka we're gonna skip her uh maverick so should you run the dmr or the the m4 honestly they're both good weapons but the m4 is very strong it's it's uh, easier to use as well um Honestly, uh, holographic and angle uh, ACOG are both good attachments. No one's gonna flame me for anything else. I recommend using a muzzle break or a flash hider. Maverick does have a pretty big flash on his weapon, but it's not that big of a problem just because it's pretty easy to use. Uh, otherwise, I don't recommend using a laser sight on it. If you're making holes, people can really catch you and they'll shoot you easier. Uh, his DMR, I run muzzle break and vertical grip uh the, the reason being is because of the dmr and i think always having my first shot is good if i had to shoot more after then it won't be a problem so nomad what is should i use the arx or should i use the ak again i recommend using the AR the ak if you like having that long amount of ammo if you like to wall bang people try to get those uh, nice pre-fires uh if you're holding like window angles i recommend using the ak the AK is just really good, like for the uh, long range, in my opinion. Uh, so is the ARX, but the ARX is very um, high fire rate, also the damage is a little bit more. Uh, but there's a very low ammo capacity. As you see, it's even lower than the Habana, it's 20. So you want to be very conservative about uh, your attachments. If you're in hollow, 
or ACOG. Honestly, I think you should always run ACOG on, on Nomad just because you're going to be flank watching, you're going to be watching Windows. Uh, always, like, ACOG is good uh, overall, in my opinion. But some people don't like it. Some people don't like uh, that passive uh, that passive use of an ACOG, which is totally okay. So for Gridlock, Gridlock is the only operator on attack that has the super shorty, um, obviously, but with Castle, um, Mozzie no longer has it. Uh, as of this video is being put out so her having a shotgun is like a mini buck you can re re rework rotations and all that kind of stuff her f90 versus her m2 honestly she's a three speed she's like maestro honestly i would recommend using the f90 f90 is super easy to use it's fun it's a good it's just a lovable weapon low recoil high damage high fire rate everything you want um, the M, the M2, honestly, LMGs sometimes aren't people's thing. People like to have um, that fast, that fast, it being able to aim down quick on stuff. But also, it's very good for holding longer angles and flank watch, in my opinion. So lastly, we're going to be looking at Nock. Nock is honestly, it's, she's better than most of the operas that have been coming out. She's very good for entry fragging and uh, catching enemies off guard. Uh, do not run, do not run the pistol, this pistol on her, run, always run the deagle, and it's personal preference if you want the shotgun. The shotgun is very inconsistent with its range, but the, the FMG9 is, is very, I think a pretty, pretty consistent weapon. The recoil is easy to use, um, the reticle, should you use, uh, holographic or should you use reflex? Honestly, try that in a T-Hunt, you'll, you'll be able to use her in a T-Hunt, uh, practice with reflex or holographic see which one you uh like more which one you hit more shots with so that's my uh thing for knock amaro um you always if you're running the supernova then you're planning on using smg for range and supernova for close up uh those close up fights for going into sight but the her lmg is same as iq very very good i recommend running angle grip on her just because uh and like her it's just like in case you don't have time to switch to your smg 11 you'll still have time to um basically spray down the enemy holographic or acog i recommend running acog on this weapon um just because you have the smg as a hollow and it's it's extremely she has a very very good weapon setup but i would i would change her her grappling hook her grappling hook takes too long to use uh cali i i don't play cali <laughs> i'm gonna be completely honest with you guys uh yeah there's not really much to use i mean obviously use the c70s uh c75 do not use a pistol always use the smg um claymore or breach charge i recommend using claymore because you're not really going to be breach charging anything if you're breach charging in sight then that means your team has died off and your your other teammates have not done the rules iana last one honestly personal preference i'm gonna say it again g36 good weapon ARX good weapon both good for close range and long range very good they uh one has angle grip though if you like to rush pretty good with Iana like uh if you like to aim down uh, sides quicker but if you like to maybe use your drones bait and kind of hold those longer angles and make sure you're guaranteed not missing or whiffing any shots use the work grip and ACOG so that's it for attack I know that was a long video um but some people did want or they request it so I'm, i might as well just put it out there you know so i appreciate you guys for watching this um if you guys have any other questions about any other operator please come into my stream twitch.tv as athena same as my youtube or you can just comment down below and i'll give you an answer so i appreciate you guys for watching and please have a good day